the follow-through has nothing to do with the release. The release response is driven by the natural pre-stresses at the time of the release, and the follow-through is a conscious action to move the hand after the release. Here we see archers trying to correct their release with their follow-through, and it is clear that it does not work. The follow-through does not guide the release, it does not correct it, and it does not affect it at all. Archers will often polish and perfect their follow-through to try to perfect their release. But this is only addressing things that occur after the shot and does not affect the actual release response. Even if the follow-through is merged with the release, it cannot change the tensions and pre-stresses that are driving the release response. The real correction lies in correcting the alignment that affects the pre-stresses that affect the release response. This is what affects the shot. It is not only a physical point, but it's a mental point as well. At the point of release, the follow-through archer is thinking about where he wants to move his hand to. The release archer is thinking about how and where he is pulling. The release archer's mind is where it needs to be, form and alignment, how he is set up and how he is pulling. He lets that drive his response when he releases. That is what will affect his shot, and actions done after the response are irrelevant. The theory behind the follow-through is that it will guide the hand in the proper direction as the archer releases. We have just seen a series of examples that show that this is not true. Also, as we can see with these archers, the follow-through does not affect the snap response at the point of release at all. And that is the critical point. When the archer releases, the hand motion will be driven by the pre-stresses caused by the tensions in the body required to hold a full draw. If the archer is out of line in any direction, then that will affect the release by forcing the hand in an adverse lateral direction. Regardless of how the archer tries to correct with his follow-through, no one's reflexes are so quick and so smooth that he can precisely counter the snap response at the point of release consistently and reliably. In the case of these out-of-line archers, correcting and smoothing the follow-through will not correct the release at all. This is because the release response is determined by the conditions at the point of release, and the follow-through actions all take place after the release. They cannot correct what has already happened. The shot is only affected by the actions at the point of release. Those last tugs, twists, and turns on the string are the last chance that the archer has to have any influence on the string and the knock of the arrow. And those last actions are most strongly governed by the stress conditions at the point of the release. If the archer wants to correct these problems, then he needs to address the root of the problem, his alignment, because the alignment is what determines the pre-stresses that will govern his release response. These archers start out in line, and as a result, they do not have any of the adverse pre-stresses of the archers in the previous sections. Notice how much cleaner the release of these archers is. The actions are all smooth and in line because the archer started out in line. This results in a full draw position with no adverse lateral or vertical pre-stresses. Because of this, there are no adverse responses at the point of the release. Many of these archers do have a follow-through and it coincides with their release response because they are both clean and straight. But the follow-through is not what causes the release to be so smooth. It is the initial alignment. Some of these archers even have a bad or degenerative follow-through. But it doesn't matter, because when the archer is preparing to release, 
His thoughts are on the tensions and the alignment that drive the release response. This is what affects the shot, and these archers make sure that it is correct. After the shot, they can do as they choose because it does not affect the shot physically or mentally. They put their attention in where it counts. The alignment before the shot. This is what makes the release and the shot work.